So we're conducting a study on white-lipped mud turtles and their movement and habitat use in our river system. So it's kind of an interesting study because until now no one has really uh, done any work on movement of mud turtles in a river system. Most of it's been in drying up ponds. Uh, so we're looking at where the turtles move throughout the season, if they move in response to flooding conditions, and what sort of habitat that they choose. So we've had a few interns here working on this study since uh, January 2015. And now we have Adrian here and he's carrying on the study. He's looking at the habitat selection component of it. Um, so we have 10 new transmitters that we've been attaching to the turtles. We have four more turtles to attach transmitters to. And then we'll have 10 turtles with transmitters out there. So we take various measurements of the turtles. Um, we give them a unique notching code, which we file into one of the marginal scoots with a file. It kind of looks a little rough, but it's essentially the same as filing with something else. So each of these scoots is considered a letter. You start at A over here, and then you make your way all the way around until V. So when you pick up a turtle that you've previously had, you can tell which one it is just by the identification. This one, for example, is AM. Okay. So we use epoxy to attach a transmitter to the turtle's back. We're doing it on the left upper scoot, and we want to try to make sure the glue doesn't get on the seams, because that can interfere with the growth of the turtle. After we put the transmitter on, we're going to hold it in place for a few minutes, making sure that it's pressed tightly. And afterward, we're going to apply some tape, let it soak up overnight and hopefully dry, and then tomorrow we'll be releasing them. So tonight is the night that we release the turtles. We're going to put them back where we found them, so they're in the same habitat, and then later on we'll be able to track their movements by relocating them. So we're using radio telemetry in order to track the turtles that we've previously released. By using radio telemetry, we can actually pinpoint the direction of travel of the turtles, and then as we get closer, the radio signal actually gets stronger. And eventually, we'll be able to get within one meter of the turtle, and then realize what kind of habitat it needs, or what kind of habitat it prefers in order to survive. When we're doing radio telemetry, often we don't actually see the turtles, and that's because they're nocturnal, which means they're active throughout the night. During the day, they actually like to bury themselves in the leaf litter and hide away from their predators, and then they'll come out at night to feed and forage.